Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at some more options for those of you trying to remove Copilot from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machines. This is something which I've kind of accumulated from a few different sources and put it together because I found there was some parts of this actual process that didn't work properly. So there is actually a kind of right and wrong way to do it. So I'm gonna go over to the computer now and show exactly how it's done. Okay, so this is our Windows 11 desktop, as you can see, and uh, we've got the Copilot section here, preview, and in the start menu, we've also got it in the top here, the Ask Copilot, which opens up GPT-4. So basically, we don't want this to be present on our system, so we want to get rid of it. Now, we've got some entries here, which we need to do, which I've actually got in a WordPad document. I'll be posting these in the video description also, so you can copy and paste them, just as I will be doing. If for some reason, when I upload the video, YouTube doesn't like the formatting of the text. I will also be putting this into our Discord, which is completely free of charge to join. And there's links to that also. And it will be posted in one of the technical support channels. So feel free to head on over there if for some reason it isn't in the video description. Okay, so with all that said, let's get on with it. So the first thing we need to do is to adjust the taskbar properties first. This is really important. Otherwise, when we click on start, this bit here is gonna remain regardless of what we do. It may be slightly disabled, but it will still physically be there. So we want to get rid of that. So right click on the taskbar and choose taskbar settings. This will bring up your Windows personalization taskbar options. And we've got the Copilot preview. So we want to get rid of that first of all. This is really important. So as you can see, it's already disappeared from there and also from the bottom. So now we can close this down and now we can run the commands. So I've got two commands, one of which is to disable Copilot, and the second one is to restore it. So if you decide you actually want it back for some reason, then you can always add it in. So what we're gonna do, this command is actually adding a registry entry. So if you wanna back up your system beforehand, feel free to do so. I would always recommend doing that if you want. The choice is entirely up to you. But just copy and paste this section here, right up to the F there, or just after. Doesn't make a difference because there's only a space there. And what we wanna do is do copy, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually right click on the Windows Start icon and we're going to choose Terminal as Admin. This is very important. You will get the user account control come up. So just click on yes to that. And this will bring up our terminal window. So all we need to do now, because we've already copied that data, we can just do either Control V or right click. Right click will do it just as well. So if you right click, it automatically does it. So it says there, Registry Add. And that's what it's doing. And basically it's the turn off Windows Copilot D word value. So when you're happy, press enter and it will say the operation completed successfully. If you do it as any other user than the administrator, this won't work and it'll come up with an error message. So just make sure you do that. So we're happy with that. So we can close down these here. So now if we log off the computer or sign out. So as you can see, we've now got the icon removed from here. And also if you click on search, then you can see this is now removed from here. In some instances, you may find that it still appears there for some reason, there seems to be a little bit of a glitch with this, so it isn't entirely perfect. So if it doesn't work first time, then my apologies, you may need to actually re-enable it, reboot the system, let Windows do an update, and then remove again, and that should get rid of it. So at least until there is a permanent uninstall fix for this, this is about the best I can give you. There are a couple of other options that you can do, which we've done videos on already, which involve the use of the group policy editor. And for those of you that are on Windows Home Editions that don't have it, there's also a version which shows you how to enable the group policy editor should you need it. So there we go. There are some other alternatives to trying to fix the continual problem of having Windows shoving Copilot in our faces. Uh, hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and the channel notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases and potentially new co-pilot removal techniques. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.